Let's take a closer look at the marquee. It's one sealed unit, just like a stock Arcade 1UP marquee. The frame is made out of half inch and quarter inch MDF. It's been sealed, primed, and painted. To seal MDF, I like to use Zinzer Bullseye Shellac. This was recommended by Joe Sabo, Sabo's Arcade. It's an amazing product for sealing MDF. Then I primed it and gave it a really good sanding pass to get it perfectly smooth. And to finish it, I did three coats of Krylon Fusion matte black. And I like to use a matte finish because it looks like molded plastic. So if I go ahead and move it again, you can see how smooth of a finish you can get on MDF. So here I have two pieces of 1 16th inch thick acrylic with a Translite film in between. The Translite film is from Sables Arcade. It's absolutely gorgeous, just rich and saturated and vibrant. To illuminate the marquee, I have three strips of cob LED inside. And to avoid any light leaking, I have two strips of vinyl just to seal it in and make sure there's no light escaping from the marquee. So that's a look at the exterior. Let's take a look inside. So now that we opened the marquee, you saw that the acrylic and the artwork slide out. Here we have three strips of cob LED, so it's nice and evenly lit. And on either end to secure it in the cabinet, I'm using a barrel bolt, just like Arcade 1UP uses to secure everything on their cabinets. So that's a look at the marquee. Next, I'm gonna be going over the assembly of the marquee with all the measurements. This way you can build one of these for yourself. All right, so the marquee is made out of five pieces. And the first piece is gonna be the foundation. It's the frame. It's 17 and 11 16 long. And just a note, every piece of this marquee is 17 and 11 16 long. They're all the same length because they all fit between the two side panels of the cabinet. It's five and three quarter inch tall. The center is cut out, leaving a one inch border all the way around. So I would suggest that you cut the center of the frame out with a router because you're going to need to come back with a router anyways to bevel or chamfer the inner edge. And the reason you need to bevel or chamfer that inner edge is that the LEDs are recessed in the frame and that harsh 90 degree edge will cast a shadow and prevent the light from reaching the edge of the marquee. Next, we have the top and bottom borders. The borders are made out of half inch MDF, three quarters of an inch deep. And here we have all the measurements for the slot. At the front of the border, we have a quarter inch space. Then we have the slot at one eighth of an inch by one eighth of an inch and the rest of the border at three eighths of an inch. Now it's important to note the slot width may need to be wider depending on the acrylic and the artwork you choose. For me, I made the slot just 1 32nd of an inch wider than 1 8th because I'm using two pieces of 1 16th of an inch acrylic and a Translite film. Next, we have the back plate. The back plate is quarter inch MDF and is 5 and 3 16th of an inch tall. What's important here is that you end up with a 9 16 of an inch gap at the bottom. And this is important is because this lip that's left over from the back plate being shorter is what actually sits on the speaker shelf inside the cabinet. And last, we have the acrylic and artwork. The acrylic is 4 and 31 30 seconds of an inch tall. Yes, just one 30 seconds of an inch shy of five inches. And the reason for that is we want the acrylic to slide easily in and out of the marquee. Well, that's it for 3D. Let's go ahead and install the marquee in the cabinet. All right, so let's get the cabinet ready for the new marquee. And you have to modify the cabinet slightly. We're gonna remove the stock marquee. You're gonna remove both wooden dials and the bracket from the speaker panel. Now, the modification is you are gonna to have to trim back the H panel. Yes, you are gonna to have to cut the H panel a little bit. So this H panel is now nine and 11 sixteenths of an inch deep, and it was cut at 66.5 degrees. It's just to trim it back a little bit, making room for the new marquee. And to show you what that looks like, this is the piece that was actually cut off the H panel. It's just less than a half an inch. 
Now that the cabinet's prepped, let's install the marquee. And as mentioned before, there's this edge at the bottom that sits on the speaker shelf, slides right in, sits right on that speaker shelf. We take our 10 24ths of an inch bolt, one inch. Now this isn't a one inch bolt, this is longer just for this video. And it screws right in. And that's it. Now one thing I haven't talked about is how did I line this barrel bolt with the hole in the cabinet and it's really simple. When I was done with the marquee, I put it in place, took a pencil, put it through the hole and marked on the marquee exactly where I needed the drill. Easy peasy. Well, that's it. And if you're interested in more Arcade 1UP mods, head over to my channel. If you like what you see, consider hitting that like button and subscribing. Have a good one.